Yo, what's going on guys? This is going to be a quick video um, on how to obtain the Omnium Beast. This mount isn't too hard to get, it's pretty easy to get. Um, only hard part about this mount is just farming for the pieces. I managed to get it today, this is why I'm making this video. I just got it about 20 minutes ago, or maybe about an hour ago, honestly. Time flies in this game. But yeah, so I got this mount, and so basically to start off this quest, to obtain the first Omnium piece, which is a guaranteed drop, just like the chase amount, and I believe there's a second piece, which is also a guaranteed drop from a pod. So you open up two pods. One of the pods will, as a quest chain, you can you can sort of say it's a quest chain, uh, that starts at the oil rig to the very left side of the map is where I'm clicking. And we're going to go over there real quick. And I'm going to show you uh, the NPC you need to talk to. So we're going to head over there. All right, so the island that you need to go to is actually an oil rig. So it's located at these two island, islands, again, from the left side of the second area that they added not too long ago and you just need to get on your jet board that they give you and make your way over to the island. Okay, once we're at the island, you want to talk to this NPC. Basically, he's the only NPC here you talk to first of. Um, you're not going to allow it on the island. As you can see, if I jump up, or maybe they got it. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's going to be a little force field. Uh, it basically stops you from entering the island, but um, I've already done the quest, so therefore I can enter the island. But I'm going to basically tell you the options that this NPC gives you. So he's not going to allow you on the island at first. He's, whatever dialogue options you choose, he is going to kick you off the island or kick, not allow you to enter the oil rig. So you need to exhaust all his dialogue options. Basically, you rinse and repeat, talk to, go through all the uh, dialogue options that this character gives you. Uh, eventually, he, it's still going to end up, he's not going to allow you on the oil rig. So what you want to do is head back to this hub world that's located in the middle right here. And you can go and do that real quick. Sweet, so the reason why we are here is because we need to unlock a little hidden, not really hidden, but more or less so of a quest line dialogue from this robot. So this robot will give us another little hidden dialogue menu that you can get for the guy back at the oil rig. And you basically just talk to this robot and you just exhaust all the dialogue options. I think it's the bottom one you go with, but basically he's going to allow you to give access to the oil rig. So once you talk to him, you want to head back to the oil rig. So we're just going to transmit over here. All right, once we're back at the island, this dialogue, now the NPC that you just talked to previously unlocks a new dialogue option for this NPC. So the NPC dialogue that you need to choose is the bottom one. So you, when you talk to this guy, obviously I've already done it, so he's not going to give me that option anymore, but there's going to be three dialogue options. You just want to press the bottom one. Always press the bottom one, and it's going to allow you onto the island. Um, I'm just going to hit on top of the island now. I'm just going to press yes real quick. Sweet. Once you're on the island, you, all you got to do is head up to the top platform. Right over in front of me. And, oh, hold on one sec. <laughs> all right, sweet. So this is the pod that gives you the first Omnium piece, which is basically a guaranteed drop. You're always going to get it from this pod. Um, then the second drop from the Omnium piece is also a guaranteed drop and that is located over at the area over here if you remember correctly there was a quest line here and um, there was a locked force field kind of dome thing that you couldn't enter you needed a passcode i'm going to tell you that passcode and you just go to this door here and then you're just going to enter that passcode sweet once we load it in we can head over to the place that is currently locked by a password force field and we can go ahead and enter in the passcode, which is 16... Hold on, I got it really quick. The passcode is 1647, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. So it does work, so 1647, passcode correct. And the pod to unlock the second Omnium piece is right here, so it's a guaranteed one again. And then so for now you two out of three pieces. And then the last piece, if you read the description, it basically says that it's a low probability chance from dropping from the behemoths. So these behemoths are just kind of just big bulky mammoth kind of mobs that are located in four different spots. I believe there's five, but I'm pretty sure there could only be four mobs. But um, so the first mob that you need to start this run, which I'm going to show you a quick run on how to do this, uh, is located actually right below this teleport we just used. And what you want to do is head directly down and just be careful because obviously four damage. 
So just like go ahead and auto attack so you stop your momentum and he should be somewhere around there. There he is. He can um, kind of wander around this island a wee bit so you might have to have a quick look. Let's go ahead and kill him and he does have a low probability chance of dropping it again. Alright, sweet. So that's the first guy that you're going to kill. Again, he's located at the bottom of this area. And we need to head to the second Omnium piece drop. And that's located on this hill right where I am looking. So about right here. Now the problem with this one, I am going to tell you a run, but I don't go to this one. This one is just too far out of the way and you have to climb a big mountain. Just adds too much to the run and too much time wasted. Alrighty, once we load in... Again, we need to head to the little area that's located out here. And so you just want to head up to this mountain to the right. And I'm trying to like make your way up to this mountain area. All right, sweet. And once you get to this hill right here, again, this is where it is. Um, let's go ahead and use your jetpack to get on top. Sweet. So this is where the second vermin bro um, behemoth brother, my bad. But this is where the second behemoth brother of behemoth mob spawns. But I do not count this on the run. I do not count this one. Again, this is too much of a run to get to this place. Um, but if you want to include this and you don't mind spending an extra a couple minutes or maybe a minute on the run and get another chance of dropping it, it's all up to you. So after you've killed this guy, just did that in a second real quick. Sweet. So after we kill that guy, so that marks the second um behemoth but again i wouldn't recommend using this one we need to head to the third and the third one is located in nave which is this little waterfall right here where this dungeon is go ahead and use this transport okay sweet once we're spawned in want to head to the little waterfall river over here and use your jet board to just fly across it head down and make a left on the road and or highway thing to the left and he should be spawned right over here but he can roam around this area so you can find him on the opposite side of the bridge sometimes or even under the bridge this little highway you can find him under there um he might not be spawned in uh as in he might not be rendered in so you might have to go back quite a bit all the way back here uh to get him to render in for you uh just have a bit of a look because sometimes mobs do take a while to render in and the view distance in this game isn't all too good. Go ahead and kill this guy real quick. Alright, sweet. So that will be the third one. And then the fourth and final one I like to do is the top bit right here. So this is the tower that you get from doing the story quest. And you should just teleport to it. Alright, once you're spawned in, what you want to do is look at the left side where this robot is. And you just want to head off to this corner bit right here. Make a jetpack jump and kind of make your way to the top of this balloon. You don't have to go to the top of this balloon. I like to get on top of this balloon though. And then you want to go straight ahead and get onto this, I'm frame my mouse real quick, get on top of this little ridge that's right in front of me where these two crystals are. That's where you want to be heading. Here is the final behemoth. Um, so we can go ahead and kill him. Now, I managed to get my drop on the previous Behemoth Brother, the one back at the highway. I managed to get my drop on that guy. It took me, I'm not going to lie, it took me about, honestly, two to three days, probably two days of um, farming for about 
an hour, two hours, three hours. I think I went really hard yesterday and didn't manage to get it, but today I kind of just did a few more runs. Um, I did make a video previously on how you can implement this run with the Voyager run, and I'm going to make it just a separate Voyager run solo on how just to do I, I kind of implemented a new run for the Voyager, which doesn't require you to only get three. You can actually get four at this time. It's, it's a quick update. But yeah, so that's the Behemoth Brothers or Behemoth Mobs. Um, this is the Mount Autom uh, Autom <clears throat> and this is going to be the Mount Idol animation just kind of stands there and this is going to be the mount special that you can do yeah that's that's it that's what I, I it's a good mount it looks really cool I had a few people when I first got it I went on top of the tower then I had a few people like one or two people uh, stopped and look at me and I'm like oh just, you know, I assumed that they will be like oh that's a mount I don't know you can get I think one of them had the chase mount but um so yeah so that marks um, two mounts now that I've gone in from drops uh, again uh and i'm not gonna lie to you this took me a long long time i think when i first started this run i probably killed the behemoth i did a run my run usually lasts three again i skipped the middle bit i skipped this middle one so i go for the bottom one i skip the middle one head to this one then i head to the tower one um and i did that for about on oh, no, i don't know probably like all oh, the first day i started farming this i did this for so long and i only managed to get it today or yeah basically today and i probably killed the behemoth mobs somewhere in the 300s i'm not even joking so yeah that's basically it um i do have previous mount videos on how to get the voyager and how to get the chaser mount uh, also on top of that i'm going to make an update video on just the farming route for the voyager um because i kind of did find a more optimal route where you can implement all four of the mob spawns of the power brothers so i'm just going to make a video on that i think next and yeah hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe if you want to it's up to you and yeah peace